guys, it's me for another video, this time on the Ascension Island, which was discovered by the Portuguese seafarer João de Nova Castilha in 1501, and although it was kind of unrecorded, but it was found again on two years later on Ascension Day by Alfonso de Albuquerque, who gave the island its name. Being dry and barren, it was of little use to the East Indies fleets. It remained uninhabited until Emperor Napoleon I was incarcerated on St. Helena in 1815 when a small, small British naval garrison was stationed on Ascension to deny it to the French. As the island was designated HMS Ascension, or a stone sloop of war, of a small class. After Napoleon's death in 1821, Ascension became a victory station and sanitarium for ships engaged in the suppression of the slave trade from the, around the West African coast. And in 1823, the island was taken over by the Royal Marines and was remained under their supervision until the British Board of Admiralty until 1922, where it was made a dependency on St. Helena by royal letters of patent, and it ceased to be a military only island in 1899, when an Eastern Telegraph Company arrived from, and from 1822 to 1964. The island was managed by the Eastern Telegraph Company, which was re had been renamed to Cable and Wireless in 1934. In 1964, the plans to establish B the BBC and Composite Signals Organisation, CSO stations, an administrator was appointed by the UK government, and during the Second World War, The St. Helena government was similarly represented on the island. As during the Second World War, the United States government, by arrangement with His Majesty's government, built Wide Awake Airfield Strip and from 1943 to 1945, over 25,000 US planes transited the Central Island, destined for North Africa, Middle East, and the European theatres of war. And in 1957, the US presence was re established as the airfield was enlarged and is now also the southeast tracking station of the USAF, or US Air Force, Airfield Street Airstrip. I know, it's probably uh, made as the bond used for from 1943 to 45, but the US Air Force. Eastern Test Range. In 1967, a NASA tracking station was built to support the Apollo lunar landing program. Uh, the site has since closed down NASA operations, such as the Space Shuttle continue to be supported from Ascension by the US Air Force until it was taken out of service. In 1982, the island was supported operations in the Falklands. An RAF detachment continues to operate on the island in support of the Falklands garrison on the Falklands Island. And the Falkland Falkland Islands bound to South Atlantic Air Bridge operation. And yeah, that is Ascension Island for you. And yeah, bye for now, and I'll see you all very soon.